Good morning, grade 3. Before we start our class, let us all stand up for our prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, before we start our class, I want you to know our classroom rules. First is, you have to listen. Second, keep quiet. Third, raise your hand if you want to answer or ask something. And last is, participate in the class. Find the missing value in the Multiplication and division of whole numbers Can the missing value in the number sentence Okay, now Let's start our Very good. It has three boxes in each box. So now, we have the given example. We already have our number sentence, which is four times three equals n. So four, four boxes and three stars in each box. So as you can see, there is an n. So how we are going to find this M? Kung sa'y value ni M? Okay, now. In finding the missing value in a number sentence, we need to consider the relationship of the two known numbers. Like this one. So if we are going to find out the value of M, we need to consider the relationship of this two variables or the known numbers in order to find this missing number. So, okay, now, take a look on this uh, factor family. Okay. Now, in this factor family, it is said that if the product or quotient is missing, you have to multiply. And if the product or the quotient is given, you have to divide. Okay. So, so that is the product. Product. Yes, very good. The product is the result of multiplication. So, when you multiply the total number, the result is the product. Product. While the quotient is ang result sa division. So, kung mag-divide ito mga number, honey, ang tawag sa result sa mga number niya, kung i-divide is called quotient. So, kailangan na rin na if the product or quotient is missing, you have to multiply. Okay, for example, okay, find the missing value in a number sentence. So, we have two And three. And N. Okay. So now, in this example, since the product or the quotient is missing, so we have to, very good, we have to multiply. Okay. So, considering these two known numbers, the two and three, so two times three. 
10 numbers or 2 known numbers. We 30 divided by 10. Yes. Okay, very good. 3. So the value of this n is 3. Because we divide the 2 known numbers which are the 3 and 30 and 10. Okay. Now, another example for the now, let us have um, N, 3, and 27. Okay, now, again, the product and the quotient, or quotient is given. So we have to divide the, the, the two known numbers which are the 27 and the 3. Okay, now, 27 divided by 3, yes. Okay, correct. 9. So, the value of this and in this equation is 9. 27 divided by 3 is equal to Nine. Very good. Nasab ka ba, class? Okay. Very good. Okay, class. What we're going to do if the product or the quotient is missing? Okay. Very good. We have 